And now to details. Egypt's national carrier has been operating daily flights since Thursday to transport pilgrims back to Cairo. The move came after pilgrims recently completed Hajj rituals in the Saudi Holy Lands of Mecca and Medina. On Thursday, Cairo's international airport received five pilgrim return flights from Jeddah Airport and on Friday, 10 more flights will be arriving. Flights will continue until an estimated number of more than 70,000 pilgrims arrive home. To details. Egypt's stock market indices rose during last week's two sessions, gaining 6.3 billion pounds. The market's capital for companies listed in the bourse reached 752.5 billion pounds, compared to 746 billion pounds the previous week. Bourse's weekly report showed that the benchmark EGX30 index rose by 0.81% to reach 14,295 points. The medium cap EGX70 rose 1.73% to close at 5 540 points and the broader EGX 100 added 1.19 percent to reach 1,420 points. Welcome back to the sports segment in full. Egypt qualified for the semifinals of the Handball 2019 Men's Youth World Championship for the first time in its history with a confident win over Iceland 35 to 31 on Thursday in Jan Sandinsky Arena. The story. African giants Egypt have qualified for the semifinals of the 2019 Men's Youth World Championship for the first time of their history with a confident win over Iceland 35-31 to on Thursday in Jane Sandinsky Arena. Egypt U19 team held the advantage throughout the entire match as they ended the first half on a 21-14 to commanding lead. The Egyptians maintained their supremacy in the second and never seemed threatened to realize their historic achievement. Hassan Walid Ahmed has been chosen player of the match. They will face on Saturday Portugal. The young pharaohs will hope to go further than their elders who clinched the bronze in July in the 2019 Men's U21 World Championship. Egypt have had a very successful campaign thus far in the tournament, having won four out of their five group stage games against Sweden, Chinese Taipei, Canada and Hungary, and have suffered just one narrow defeat to defending champions France. This led to Pharaoh's finish top of Group B, which put them against the fourth place team of Group A Slovenia in the round of 16. Egypt didn't face any difficulties against their European side as they managed to end the first half with a 16 to 8 lead before continuing their dominance over the second period, winning the game 30 to 23. Although Egypt had won the title at the U-20 tournament in 1993, on home soil, the U-19 team never managed to get past the quarterfinals, and their best result was at 2007 and 2011 World Youth Championship when they placed fifth. El Zamali coach Tariq Yahya assures that his players are ready for the CAF Confederation Cup round of 64 match against Somalia's champions de Kadaha. And El Zamali will host Somalia's team in the preliminary stage of the African Champions League on Friday at 9 p.m. Cairo local time. The game is not expected to be easy for the White Knights as the team signed 11 new players and is coached currently by a temporary coach. <laughs> 